Hello, everyone, and welcome to this 25th episode of Five Minutes with NY Ike. I am Isaac Sokolik, or NY Ike on Twitter, and today I'm going to help answer the question, what is AI ops, and specifically talk about the benefits of AI ops solutions and methodologies for people practicing agile, for DevOps teams, and for those in IT operations following ITSM. Now, if you're in IT, you know we use a ton of data and tools to monitor performance. If you walk into your standard NOC, this is pretty much what you're going to see. Lots of monitors, lots of graphs and alerts telling us what parts of the infrastructure or applications or business services are having issues or incidents. And on a day-to-day -day basis, if you're in Agile teams or DevOps teams, IT ops teams, you know we have a lot of different tools and data sets capturing data for us. We're looking at agile tools with our backlogs. We have testing tools capturing how systems are performing when we're developing them. We're using defects to track where we have to make improvements to our products. We have ITSM tools for managing incidents and requests. And then we have many, many, many monitoring tools. In fact, many organizations have have well over 10 different monitoring tools to deal with our infrastructure. So what is AI ops? It's really about centralizing the data that is part of operations, cleansing it, and then using machine learning to help us make better decisions and to automate aspects of our response. Now, while IT has some standard data sets that we want to centralize to, the reality is there are many, many tools that we're using inside IT that have this data. You know, like I said in the previous slide, many organizations have well over 10 tools just used in monitoring. We have usually separate tools for service management than from our agile backlogs. We have applications putting out logs. We have InfoSec tools also giving us security information. And this picture just gives you the landscape of all the different tools that IT might be using. So when we talk about automation and we talk about centralizing data and applying machine learning to it the very first thing we have to do is rationalize all the different places we're capturing data how to unify these data sets how to put a common language against them and then we can start really putting machine learning against that now in the next slide i'm going to share three different examples of how different ai op solutions tackle this challenge now, anyone who's worked with machine learning before knows that you need to have cleansed, centralized, and large-scale data to be able to take advantage of it. So when you look at an AI ops solution, they're going to try to solve both sides of the equation. First, to centralize and cleanse and enrich data, and the second side to apply machine learning to it. So let's look at three different examples. The first is around the CMDB itself. Now, the CMDB has been extremely challenging for IT operations group just to maintain it as an asset list, let alone to have it accurate when there's data centers, when there's clouds, when we have elastic compute going on. And we really want this information to be updated to the latest and greatest what our, what our centers are actually operating against. DDM tools, these are discovery and dependency mapping tools scan the environments and are capturing up-to-date information to feed the cmdb on a regular basis so you could think of the applications are scaling up and down in your clouds and every day or even every hour these ddm scripts are picking up what is going on in the infrastructure and updating the cmdb so that's going to give us a lot more context on where something is happening now, when we want to understand what is happening, we need to be able to correlate the data and the alerts coming from multiple monitoring tools from our different log files across our infrastructure, our network, our storage. Maybe we have an API that's running in our data center and an application that's running on our cloud. We need to be able to correlate all this data so that when there's something not performing well or there's an issue somewhere, we can get a time sequence, easy to understand set of issues and alert us on what the root cause is around this. So a second part of the data 
data collection is just being able to aggregate all the monitoring data, all the log files, and start correlating alerts into a meaningful sequence of information. Where does this become important? Well, let's talk about two different places, at least for today. The first is in incident management. You know, once we start correlating the information around what's happening and we have a strong CMDB so we know where it's happening, we have a ton more context to be able to improve the resolution time, the MTTR of our incidents, but also to perform more accurate and faster root cause analysis. And when those issues are defects and we're gonna put them into our agile backlogs, we have a ton more context when we know what parts of the infrastructure, what services were interrupted, what its impact on the systems and business services are. So it's gonna help both the IT team resolve issues, it's gonna help SRE groups, for example, to find root causes, and it's gonna help the engineering groups look at defects and improve on them. So three different places where AI ops, AI ops is going to improve data collection, but also the machine learning is actually going to help our operations. Thank you for joining for me joining me today for this issue or this episode of Five Minutes with NY Ike. If you want more information, please join my newsletter at the URL that you see above. And please subscribe to this channel. I put out about two different episodes every month around areas around digital transformation, agile, DevOps, product management, and becoming more data-driven. Have a great day, and I will see you at the next episode.